Hello, welcome to Frank's School. I'm sorry about the sound yesterday. <clears throat> it, it, it seemed to be light. I don't know if my camera has gone twice to Europe with me and I've used it forever. Maybe someday it'll fail, I don't know. I'm hoping it's better. I cleaned it. All right, uh, uh, did I say welcome to Frank's School? Anyway, uh, this I'm getting going to get you ready for your last day of viewing Zeffirelli's film version of The Taming of the Shrew. Uh, this would be the eighth day in the alternate version of a third year. Oh, here comes the other cat. She's probably going to bump that music stand. There she comes. Maybe not. Um, <clears throat> or uh, the fiftieth day, if you go the other way. Okay, I have a few. This is Suzanne. Uh, I have a few uh, quotes here, not very many. Uh, which character in what you saw before, which character said, uh, uh, <clears throat> good, good Lord, how bright and goodly shines the moon. I say, tis the moon. Well, that's Petruchio. Uh, and, uh, of course, it's the sun, but, <laughs> but Kate, at that point, uh, it's not going to fight him. Come on, guy, you can't do that. Um, and, uh, and then uh, the other quote is, uh, who says this, Young, budding, virgin, fair and fresh and sweet, Whither away, or where is thy abode? Oh, happy the parents of so fair a child. Uh, <clears throat> that's Kate. Uh, that's what she says as she walks up to the old man, whom uh, uh, Petruchio has said was a, was a young, young girl. Uh, <clears throat> now, there's going to be a test. Uh, the next time... Yeah, I think probably the next time you view uh, this class, it'll be a test. And the test is going to comprise of quotes. The cats are thinking about fighting. Uh, quotes, and all you'll have to do mostly is just say, who, who said that? I'll have a few other questions. Um, Netflix. You, you, can, you can see this on Netflix. I mean, I know that takes a day or two to get here. <laughs> The cat just shook the camera. Uh, it takes a t day or two to get to you, uh, or and I keep saying buy it, uh, start a collection. It would be good probably to go back and watch the whole movie after having had it broken apart like, like I've done. Well, in what you're going to see, um, there is a, a new character, Widow. She's called Widow. Hortensio gives up. He knows he's not going to get uh, uh, Bianca. And so he settles for a rich old widow. Hortensio is the guy with the long blonde hair. Um, and so there are three newlyweds. <clears throat> the final scene is at not the wedding, but the uh, reception for Bianca's wedding. And so there's three new couples. Uh, and in that, there is a pun that I explain just enough for the kids to get it. Uh, Shakespeare's body in a public school was always a, a bit of a problem, his mildly dirty jokes. Uh, uh, at one point, he, uh, Petruchio is going to say, to her, Kate, to her widow, because Kate has, uh, uh, the widow has insulted Kate, and they're going to fight. <coughs> Petruchio says, a <clears throat> hundred crowns my Kate will lay her flat. He's ready to bet a hundred crowns that Kate can, can win. Well, on that lay her flat, that's where the pun is. And, uh, uh, and uh, Hortensio says, that's my office. <laughs> well, office nowadays is a place where you work. But uh, originally, it also meant the job you have to do. That's your job. That's your office. And so that's his job. And then everybody laughs. Well, so that, uh, so that the students might be in on that. I explain it gently that, that, that here, you know, I said, let, you, you can just imagine. And then, of course, the kids laughed as well. Well, you're going to hear Kate's uh, concession speech, and it's an amazing speech. Um, I watched it last night, and, and I, I don't feel as fondly at the moment toward this movie as, as I have. You have to just about suspend reality. Um,